Hello, good morning students. Uh, today, one of the important topic for the board, uh, board exam point of view, the chapter name is Magnetism and Matter. In these very short answers, I would like to discuss today. From that, the first question given here is, a magnetic dipole placed in the magnetic field experiences a net force what can you say about the nature of the magnetic field? Say for example, as you know that magnet means which having a north and a south pole. So this magnetic dipole, when it is placed in the magnetic field, what is the net force acting on that? That is the question. For this simple answer is, for the uniform magnetic field, the net force is, net force of the dipole is zero. Whereas for the non-uniform magnetic field, it experiences a net force and as well as couple also. So, magnet, given magnetic field should be non-uniform. That is answer, simple answer. So, question number two. Do you find two magnetic lines intersecting? Why? That is the question. Actually, before going to discuss, uh, you have to know, say for example, if a magnet is there, let us say this is a magnet having the north pole and south pole. So whenever if you draw the magnetic lines for this, it will be like this, like this. This is the magnetic lines. So the direction is always from north to south direction outside the magnet, whereas inside the magnet, the direction will be from south to north. Say for example, if you want to know at this particular point the direction of the magnetic field, you have to draw a tangent here. So at this point, you have to draw a tangent. The tangent itself gives the direction of the magnetic field. Say for example, at this particular point, if you say that from this question, two magnetic lines intersecting. Why? So if they intersect, what happened? Say for example, at this particular point, if you say two magnetic lines are there, say one at, at a particular point, say for example, uh, these are the two magnetic lines. If you want to know at this particular point, the direction will be, you have to add, draw the tangent. So if they intersect this point, it will have two directions. That means it is not possible. The direction is only in one direction. That means two magnetic lines never intersect. If they intersect at the point of intersection, the field have two directions, which is impossible. So, magnetic lines never intersect. In the same thing happened for the electric lines also. So, that is the question number two answer. Number three, what happens to the compass needle at the earth's pole? So, if you take a compass, that is magnetic compass, which shows the north and south directions, if you keep near the earth's pole, what happened? So, obviously, at the earth poles, the magnetic lines are converging or diverging vertically, so that the horizontal component is negligible. Hence, compass needle can point along any direction, so it will be rotating in any direction. So, that is answer for the second question. Uh, sorry, third question. Next, fourth question, this is a simple definition for this. Magnetization. What do you understand by the magnetization of a sample? Give its SI unit. So, as you know, the definition is magnetization represented by capital M. Uh, for sample is uh, equal to it is nothing but uh, it is a ratio of magnetic moment to the volume or simply you can say net magnetic moment per unit volume simple definition so for the formula is m net by v volume indicates the si unit of this will be as you know magnetization is ampere per meter so that is about the fourth question answer. next uh, fifth question sorry fourth question will be like this this is the fourth question now, fifth question. What is the magnetic moment associated with the solenoid? So, you can say that solenoid is nothing but capital M is equal to any A and I or simply you can say. For this solenoid, you can add some length of the solenoid that is 2L. Simply, for the magnetic moment uh, is capital M is equal to A and I. 
for this solenoid simply you can add the two L. So capital M is equal to simply you can say A N I into two L. So A means area, N means number of loops, turns that is two L is the length of the solenoid. I is the current. Simply A is equal to area that is uh, pi R square for the solenoid. So that is the formula for the magnetic moment associated with the solenoid. Capital M is equal to N into 2L into I into pi A square. A is the area of cross. Sorry, A is the radius, not the area of cross section. Pi A, pi A square, so total indicates the area, capital A. So this total is nothing but capital A. So next will be sixth question. What are the units of magnetic moment, magnetic induction, magnetic field? Simple, direct question. The unit of magnetic moment capital M is equal to ampere per meter square. Induction is Tesla. Magnetic unit, magnetic field is also Tesla. Simple answer. So, if you see, seventh question. Magnetic lines form continuous closed loops. Why? So, as we know that previous question we discussed, the direction is from outside the magnet is from north to south, inside the magnet is south to north. That means it will form the closed loop. Whereas electric lens does not form the closed loop. See, magnetic lens forms continuous closed loops. Why? So magnetic lens are imaginary lines with the within the magnet. They move from the south to north pole. Outside the magnet, move from north to south pole. Hence, magnetic lens forms the continuous closed loops. That's all. Next question will be define magnetic declination. So simple definition. Magnetic declination at a place is the angle between magnetic meridian and geographic meridian at that place that is a declination ninth question will be define magnetic inclination or angle of dip that is a declination here it is inclination so this is also simple definition magnetic inclination at a place is the angle between the direction of total strength of earth's magnetic field and horizontal line of magnetic meridian so here magnetic meridian and geographic meridian angle here total strength direction of total strength of earth's magnetic field and horizontal line in the magnetic meridian that is the question number nine answer okay last question in this will be classify the following materials with regards to the magnetization of manganese cobalt nickel bismuth oxygen copper so simply thing is manganese it is a paramagnetic material nickel is the ferromagnetic material Oxygen is the paramagnetic material, cobalt is the ferromagnetic, bismuth is the diamagnetic, copper is the diamagnetic material. In this chapter, some two problems are there which is asked previously. That is the question the problem is the horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field at the center certain place is 2.6 into 10 power minus 5 Tesla and angle of dp is 60 degrees. What is the magnetic field of Earth at this location? That means from this given data, what are the values given here? First value is given as uh, horizontal components uh, magnetic field that is uh, um, the value is uh, B, uh, yeah, BH value that is 2.6 in 10 power minus 6 theta. Now dip is the even delta is equal to 60 degrees. You have to find the magnetic field of the earth's magnetic field next you have to find. So as you know the formula B is equal to BH cos theta or simply BH is equal to B into cos delta or simply from this you have to find the B that is equal to BH by cos delta. Now, simply substituting the values, BH means 2.6 into 10 power minus 5 by cos delta means cos 60. Cos 60 means 1 by 2, that is a 0.5. By doing the calculations, you will get 5.2 into 10 power minus 5. Tesla is the answer. Similarly, another problem is given. In the magnetic meridian of the certain place, the horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field is 0.26 G. G means gas. So, and the dip angle is 60 degrees. What is the magnetic field of Earth at this location? Same question. You have to find the uh, same BE also. B, Earth's magnetic field you have to find. Same formula that is BE is equal to uh, H by cos theta. That is uh, cos delta, whatever it may be, angle. Now, from this, the value given is 0.26 G. That is a HE value is given, 0.26 G. Uh, that means simply B is equal to H by cos theta. That is a cos... Uh, angle angle of dip that is formalized 0.26 by cos 60 as usual 1 by 2 that is 
zero point five to gas. So question will be given in the gas. So answer is also in the gas. Thank you for watching.